and it's Rory at Clodden Painting Studio here. Um, today's video I'm going to be painting a uh, brigade commander for my French Napoleonic army. It's a 28mm metal model from Perry Miniatures. Um, I'm short of commanders for my army um, so we're going to paint up uh, a General de Brigade and I'm going to start off painting the horse. We're going for a bay horse which is um, brown with black tail, mane and legs and the brown I'm using is Vallejo model colour flat brown so thinned, uh, two thin coats of flat brown have been applied um, to the horse flesh um, I've now got some army painter matte black and has been thinned with some water and it is flowing uh, nicely into the sculpted detail of the horse hair on the tail. Um, by using the lighter lighter on the coat it's um, ghoul grey from Colour Forge um, and then a thinned paint you get the advantage of almost an instant highlighting effect. Um, it's similar what you get from um, a contrast paint or express colour I'm going to be using just acrylics on this model um, for a bit of a change. Um, so, as well as the horse, there's a few details um, to pick out in black. Um, this is the, the scabbard there. And boots with the stirrup. All the straps, reins, um, etc. on the horse, um, they're going to be in black as well. And the legs, sort of up to the knee, is going to be black along with the hooves. And our general himself, um, his hat is bicorn, that's going to be black. Um, with some uh, detailing to come later. A sort of sculpted um, feather effect along the top there. And the colour of that did actually vary by rank. Um, for a general you'd expect it to be in, in black, but for a marshal um, that could be in white. I'll base coat the sword as well for silver colour to come later. Okay I'll finish all these other black areas. This is Army Painter Dragon Red. I'm going to do the saddle cloth in this colour. Um, there will be some uh, decorations in sort of gold thread around the edges. So just roughly filling in the centre just now and we'll come back later for the external part. I have some Vallejo saddle brown to very roughly fill in the saddle that is being used. Not going to be seeing much of this. Quite a lot of coat to paint, and I'm using Vallejo model color dark Prussian blue. There is some sculpted uh, lacing, such as on the cuff and the collar. I give that all a base coat of blue and then pick out the detail with some metallics later. With some army painter tanned flesh I am picking out his skin. I'm 
and I'll probably do his hair with one of the browns I used earlier. This is Vallejo Brass, and there's a lot of lacing and trim to fill in. Um, so all around the horse cloth. Um, but also, our General's Sash is epaulets, part of the design on his hat with lacing there. He has quite a few buttons and a medal there. You also notice I've done a red ribbon for that. A hilt of the sword. And picking out the um, strap for the scabbard with the brass. Um, there might be some gold lace work on the edge of that. Later I'll put some red in the centre. End of the scabbard. Um, and the lacing um, on sort of collar and cuff could be brought out. Doesn't matter if this is rough just now because there's going to be a wash stage to follow um, and that's going to help to better define the lacing etc. This is Army Painter Plate Mail Metal and it's the base coat I'm using for the sword. Um, there's also the stirrups and spurs. And things like the bit and some of the other um, attachments on the horse tack as well. with some Vallejo London Grey. I'm adding some hair highlights um, to the mane. I'm also add that to the tail. So wherever there's a raised area or a bulbous part perhaps on the leg here. And some London Grey just helps to highlight that. You could also use this for the feathers on the bicorn. For the other areas of black, I'm using a different highlight colour. This is Army Painter Wolf Grey. Which is a fairly blue grey and it's helpful to help just add a little bit of a cooler colour and that differentiates the materials. For example where we've got the mane and the horse furniture on the head beside each other it stops things blurring into one at a distance. Let's use this on his boots and the sides of the hat as well, just a couple of lines. I mentioned earlier about the sword strap having some red, so I've got the dragon red. Just trying to keep that to the center with a bit of the brass to the edges. Might also expect to see a bit of red within the gold lace of the sash. So just adding some little dots. with some Army Painter Ivory. Let's 
paint in what can be seen of the breaches there. A little highlight on what could be a little uh, neckerchief on part of a shirt that's visible. On the edges of this rosette here, I've already placed some of the dragon red. You'd have the French tree colour here, so you'd have white, red and blue. The blue in the centre would probably be obscured um, by the brass pin. Tiny little dot of white at the back of the horse's eye. You wouldn't see much white on a horse's eye. But it just helps to show them off a bit to have some. This is the wash stage. I have a mixture of army painter, dark tone, flesh, wash and quick shade mixing medium. So one to one to one ratio. Give the whole model a coat of this. So I love how the wash just really starts tying everything together. Um, a lot of sculpted detail, um, especially on the saddle cloth where the, the wash can sit in the recesses. Um, and having the sort of um, purplish tone that you get from the flesh wash and dark tone mix uh, really helps complement the, the gold and the, the blue. Um, Sonic Sledgehammer the YouTube channel had a recent video on um, washes um, and I've based my mixture on one of the washes that he likes to use um, known as Marine Juice. Um, I suggest you look up Sonic Sledgehammer for good painting tips. The first set of highlights um, I'm going to do is simply just the um, base colours over the, the horse flesh. I'll do the same with the, the blues and the reds as well. did a highlight of the black earlier and I do that before the wash just in case it's a bit too uh, stark the grey against the black base coat and the wash helps to filter and bring the colours closer together. So don't necessarily need to go back over that one. There might be a high point or two perhaps like the tip of a boot that I might add a little dot to. So I'll finish the brown and um, the skin colour and the blue and the red and we'll come back and see how that looks. So that's the base colours reapplied to the raised surfaces, leaving the shaded uh, colour in the deepest recesses. Next highlight for the brown is the um, saddle brown, used quite sparingly. Just along the most bulbous parts of the horse's musculature and things like ears and eyebrows. For the red highlight, I have some Army Painter Pure Red. And this is Prussian Blue to leave a fine highlight on the jacket. Highlighting the skin with some Barbarian flesh from the Army Painter. I mentioned earlier about picking out some points on the black um, and grey highlights just to enhance those. It's a really thin 
almost just dots being applied to the areas that are catching the most light. Off camera, um, I've dotted the eyes with white and the pupils with my Stadler 0.05mm uh, pen. A bit of quartz pale and really pushing the highlights. Tiny dots for the cheekbones and the nose. I'm going to do a couple of really thin glazes um, with some Mario Painter Field Grey over his chin just to give the hint of a, a little bit of stubble. I have gone for Vallejo Game Colour Silver to highlight the uh, steel such as the sword. And areas of horse tack. I have Vallejo Gold Uh, from the model color range. And that's going to highlight all these areas that were done in brass in the first stage. I am going to varnish the model that will help protect the paintwork but also brings the the reflectivity of all the different paints together um, particularly at the re-render the horse here the Vallejo colors are very flat matte and where I've had the shade showing through it's quite a satin finish so um, applying a varnish will help tie these together and make a bit more smoother transition and make things just look um, a little bit more elegant And this is Army Painter Anti-Shine Matte Varnish. There's also the matter of finishing the basing. It's just Vallejo Earth Texture that's on the base at the moment. And the Dark Earth. I need to dry brush that with a lighter brown. Apply some flock and some tufts as well. So come back when that's all dry. And what will be tomorrow morning for me. And 10 seconds for you. So I did all the basing last night and here is the finished uh, Brigade Commander. Um, he is at the rank of General. Um, if we wanted to do him up as a, a Marshal, one of the changes you could make would be to make the feathers on top of his bicorn white instead of black. And hopefully this has been a, a useful guide for uh, knocking out a brigade commander relatively quickly. Hi, thanks for watching that video. Hopefully it was a, a useful uh, painting guide with some uh, tips that you can take forward in your own painting. Um, I just want to take a moment um, to say that if you've ever thought about supporting the channel, um, you can now do so um, as I have signed up for both uh, Patreon um, for um, monthly donations um, or coffee if you just want to send a, a one-time payment. Um, any support that you can give um, would really help out the channel. Um, I need to invest in some proper uh, lighting and sound equipment for one. Um, and the cost of paints, brushes um, and models all needs to, to come from my own pocket. So um, if you want to um, have a chance at uh, influencing which uh, videos I paint, then there's a tier on Patreon for that. Um, other perks will be getting shout outs. Um, named in the credits as well, depending on uh, what level you want to support at. Um, I'm still going to keep making the videos. I want to keep them free on YouTube. Um, and if you want to offer some support to that, I would be eternally grateful. Um, so once again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.